Hello, Jason Niemeyer here again with you with another Photoshop tutorial. What I thought we'd talk about this time is the text editing tools in Photoshop. We don't often think about Photoshop being a good desktop publisher for that kind of thing, logo design and stuff, but it is. It works great. Uh, the text tools really aren't on the forefront of the Photoshop preface, but they're in there and they're quite powerful and they work great. Now oftentimes when I'm designing a logo in Photoshop, I like to start with just a eight and a half by eleven sheet. So when I call up a new document, I always come in here and do this at eight and a half by eleven. The reason is is because I want to print these, uh, not pixels of course, we want inches, and I want to be able to print these. So if I print it if I do everything on an eight and a half by eleven, then I know it's a standard sheet size paper and I can print it out and that way I can put it in a binder and go show my customer his artwork right there on that sheet paper. So to start off with, uh, we're going to do kind of a, uh, not a real fancy logo, but I like logos that are centered around shapes, uh, whether they're circular or uh, even just an outline of the logo. I like the logo to be kind of contained within a border, kind of like it. I don't like lines of text all over the place. To me, that doesn't look like a logo that looks like a like a letterhead and it just I don't know it's it's just not like a logo should be just kinda self-contained within a little compact area maybe even with borders and that kind of thing around it that to me it, it is the embodiment of, of a logo where it's just not all over the place so with that in mind we're going to start with a basic ellipse. Now hold your shift key down when you're dragging the ellipse to so so you get a perfectly round circle. Now we're going to do the same thing with a rectangle and we're going to kind of combine the two. Start off here over to the left a little bit. We're going to go right up over top of that and equal on the other side. Don't have to measure this. It's not rocket science. Whatever looks good. And now you've got the combination of the two. What are we going to do with that? Well, we're going to fill it now. We're going to make it yellow. Okay. Come up here and grab your paint bucket tool and just make it yellow. How simple is that? Pretty simple so far. Now what we want to do is we want to give it an outline. You're working on one layer. We want to put it on another layer. So all I'm going to do is come up and hit edit, copy, and edit, paste. That dropped it on another layer. Now, this is where you can get a lot of powerful text editing tools too in, in Photoshop is by just clicking that layer bar. Once you click that layer bar, you get the layer styles dialog box. Here you can do a lot of fun things with text. And all I want to do at this point is just give that an outline. But I want it black. So I'm going to go over here, drag down, grab my black, and there we have it. Now if we want it a little heavier, we can do that too. And that looks great. So we'll go ahead and click OK, telling it that that's the way we want that. Now I'm going to introduce some text into the design. So I'm going to go grab my text tool. And we're just going to bring a, the text. Oops. Getting a little click happy here. There we go. Now we're going to find a, a nice font that should work great. We want to select our color so we can actually see the font. And I think what I'll go with is a nice red. And I'm going to find another font that I can use to spell fast food. Now, we want to find a font that that says speed. You know, uh, I can come in here and type patties, patties in a script, but it just wouldn't be appropriate for that kind of a sign. Um, you know, and if you want to change fonts right now, you can do that too. You can just come back up here, grab Patty's Patties because it's on a different layer, and uh, just highlight it. And I'm not real crazy about that font, so I think I'm going to change it again to something a little more casual. And once we find that font, now I like that better. That reads a little nicer to me. Uh, now we can go back to the text tool and we can select a different font for the word fast food and I think we'll go with something in something kind of like a casual like a dom casual maybe 
this might work right there and we'll go now we want to downsize that and we might want to introduce a different color there now that's already slanted pretty good kind of giving the indication of speed uh, we don't want it to be quite as big as the rest of the sign or the copy on the sign or the name I guess you should say use your 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 arrow keys to kind of position that where it needs to be uh, then we can come up here and hit transform and go with skew and what that will allow us to do is just kind of lean the letters a little bit more kind of giving the hint of speed there in that logo because you know we're talking about fast food here so now we want to reselect it so we can change the color and let's go with this kind of this neon green it's a real popular color these days and that looks really good okay notice that we're all of our text layers are on different layers here now so as long as we're on the fast food we'll go ahead and select that and we we'll just double click it so we can get that uh, layer style dialog box back up we're gonna click stroke double click that box again you'll get more command menus here we can change the color we're gonna change the stroke to black and we're gonna go okay if you don't want it as big as that for an outline you can downsize it to two if you want and that looks better uh, also what we're going to do is we're going to bevel and emboss the lettering so it kinda of pops off there a little bit plus we're going to give it a drop shadow and you can double click each one of these to adjust those settings so you can get a little bit fancier drop shadow and use global light what that means is, is using the light source on every single lettering here if you don't want to use the same light source you can give this line of copy a different shadow then you want to give that line of copy but leave it on because it that would look silly so you want to leave that on so everything that you give a shadow to is going to have the same shadow so go ahead and click OK on that one come up to patty's patties and we're basically going to do the same thing we're going to give it a stroke and we'll double click that so we can get to the color make sure it's black and we want it to be a two and we want to come up to bevel and boss again you can double click that and make adjustments but I kind of just like yeah, maybe we can just kick up the size a little bit kind of play around with that get the depth in there so it looks like it's really popping off size might be a little too much just drop her down to four and that looks great not pretty now we'll give it the drop shadow it wants we'll double click that and intensify it a little bit so it's got a nice drop shadow I like it so far that's looking good that looks really nice it's a nice looking sign nice look look out logo all it needs now is a little bit of artwork paste right into our document and there it is now holding down your shift key you can drag and sometimes it's kind of fun to let things hang outside of the border just a little bit and you can do that and then on this entity we'll double click that go ahead and hit apply on the transformation double click the uh, layer grab the stroke button again double click that make it black okay and you might want to drop that well now it's about the same size as the straw so we'll just leave it like that I like it yeah uh, you might want to drop a drop shadow on that too so it looks like it's shadowed a little bit as well like the rest of it and then okay you're done that's it that's all there is to it working uh, with these uh, texts in Photoshop is a lot of fun use Photoshop as a desktop publisher